Meanwhile, our first guest is a talented actor and singer, and he is starring in this Saturday's Hallmark Hall of Fame movie, A Christmas Love Story. Welcome back to our home, the very talented Keith Robinson. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm very excited to have you. Yeah, thanks so for we've been me. talking about your movie yeah. for weeks, it seems like. We're all very excited oh, wow. for this film. So you play Brian. I do. You were the piano teacher in the film, and you have a very important job of keeping the Christmas Eve show on track. Yes. But what's going on? Why is it gonna be difficult for him? Well, they're looking for a Christmas song and they're down to the 12th hour. They've procrastinated and waited to the last minute because they had hired a, a songwriter and he kind of bailed on them at the last minute, which happens. Yeah. So it kind of sends everybody in a frenzy and Brian has to be the voice of calm and reason and try to figure it out and kind of persuade uh, Kristen Chenoweth's character to uh, find an alternative, maybe look inward for an alternative. And a little humor too, you bring right. yeah. humor to the movie. Do yeah. you enjoy People that like, as an actor? I love that, it was fun. I was just, that's just being myself, so that was just fun. And Kristen is a, a warm ball of energy and everybody was fun around us, so it was like, you know, hanging out with your friends, really, it was a good time. You guys had a great cast. Yeah, yeah. a great cast. Solid Scott cast, Wolf. and yeah. we've got a clip right now, it's a clip of uh, you and Kristen finding out that the lead vocalist oh, yeah. not gonna be able to oh, make boy. it. <laughs> just kinda try and keep everybody calm, let's take a look. Yeah. So you're gonna pick up the costumes tomorrow? <gasps> no. Does that mean you want me to? Don't freak out. Is Gavin? He's out. What do you mean he's out? He can't be out, he's writing the song. Or in Switzerland for Christmas. His kids got him the trip. Apparently he thought he could do it all, but... If we don't have an original song, we don't have a finale. We don't have a finale, we don't have a song to sell, or a Christmas choir for next year. Don't panic, we'll figure something out, all right? Don't panic. Why are you panicking? We're not. So, why do you guys look so freaked out then? We don't have an original song. What? Thank you, Ryan, for that. We will, though, when I figure out who to go to to write it. Why can't you write it? No, I don't do that anymore. So? You used to write. I wrote one musical. And started it on Broadway. Again, thank you, Ryan. But I am a teacher now, not a composer. I'm just saying, they got a point. I mean, who's gonna do it this late? It's Christmas. Or for free. I can't. I mean, I'm just piano and music history and, oh. Aww. Warm up. <laughs> yes! <Thank> you. <laughs> it's so good. It's right, honestly, your chemistry with Kristen, too, is fantastic. Yeah. The way they banter That's right. back and forth. You guys are so good together. Yeah, yeah she's really, awesome. Really, really great. Had a good time. Uh, yeah. Obviously, now you've uh, had some experience starring opposite some pretty amazing leading ladies, like, yes. for instance, Beyonce, oh, yeah. Jennifer Hudson yeah. in the Amazing Dream Girls yeah, film. Yeah, yeah. Now, what would you say are the, the qualities that they all share, Kristen and, uh, and Beyonce and Jennifer? Um, aside from being really talented, I think just being really self-aware and really giving as artists. You know, they kind of aware of their power, so they kind of know how to disperse it, which is which I found unique with Beyonce and, and Kristen. They kind of command the room, but kind of put everyone at ease at the same time. That's not that's easy to do. No. It's not, it's kind of a unique quality. Like I, yeah. I like to call them divas, but in the best sense in of the world. In the best word. sense of the world. Not like yeah. people say, oh, diva, that, that means right. you're, you think yeah. you're fancy. No, like yeah. you are, you come in yeah. and the whole room just goes, oh, yeah, just magnetic, elements, doesn't magnetic it? Yeah. Diva, yeah. Magnetic, very, I mean, yeah. you're an amazing musician yourself. Thank you. You know, Thank and it, I, another wonderful woman who probably inspired you at a very young age to start singing yeah. with your mom, isn't that yeah. right? Yeah, my mom's a singer, she, she uh, grew up in the church, so she, uh, she kind of had an opportunity to be a professional singer. And I think me and my brother came along, so that kind of, she kind of bank left to raise us, but she's a great singer. And uh, she always had records in the house, so I kind of gravitated toward it at a young age, and then when I got old enough, I kind of, you know, she passed the torch, so. How young were you when you started singing? You know, Did you I sing in the church too? I sang in the church a little bit. I was in the school choir a little bit. I actually, small tidbit, I actually, the third grade choir I got cut from. What? Yeah. Whoa. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Who was that choir director? Yeah. Would you like to say anything? <laughs> Does your mom ever she watch you and give you notes? Huh? Does your mom ever watch you and give you notes on your uh, on your perform on your singing? Well, she kind of always she kind of always knew that I could sing, and I was like, "How do you know?" Because I never really sung until I got into high school professionally. I was always heavy in the sports, but I guess she'd hear me singing in the shower in the background, so she would encourage it. Oh. She bought me a piano when I was 11 years old, uh, but I was I was interested in, in playing in the NBA, so kind of like. It kind of like dissolved, and then it came back full circle, and I was like, ah, I wish I would have kept holding onto that piano. So, <laughs> whoa! Kind of, so you wanted yeah. to be an NBA player? I wanted to play ball. I was I was an athlete like every little kid, and I I, I, I was in it heavy going through school, middle school, school, high school, and and then when I got to high school, the music thing just kind of bit me like a ton of bricks, and I kind of went 
full steam ahead. And she was kind of like, I told you. Yeah, I think it I turned out all right. Mom you. always knows best. Yeah. Yeah. That is the truth. That's well, awful. yeah. Let me say this: that a Christmas love story couldn't be more fitting for you this year because you right. recently got married. I did. Hey, I congratulations. Did. congratulations. Big congratulations. First Christmas together as a couple, as a married couple. This is the first one, yeah. Okay, so what are you gonna do? What are your plans? You gotta, you know, you gotta step it up. Wedding picture. Well, you know, we're gonna we're gonna kinda keep it, we're gonna kinda keep it close to home because we're actually expecting at the same time as well. Oh, congratulations! Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, congratulations! Yeah, so, so kind of like, like bam, bam. When time. is she due? <laughs> April. In oh, spring. that's so wonderful. Oh, that's yeah. And yeah. today is her birthday, so happy birthday. <gasps> What a great Smart. day! Yeah. Yeah. Oh my good! By the way, your wife is gorgeous. Yeah. You thank guys you. make a beautiful couple. I Those it. pictures, I couldn't stop looking at them. It oh, looked like a you. beautiful wedding. I appreciate well, it. we wanted to give you and your new bride, and now your new baby. Yeah. We didn't even know. That's we have right. to send a gift. That's right. We got to find more. Oh, awesome. We wanted to give you some early Christmas presents. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Is them? Oh, oh, they're over here. Gifts. Gifts. Me. Cameron's looking over that way. I think those presents are pretty. I, I, I saw presents. I thought. There you go. Awesome. A little something for you guys. That is awesome. You can pull it out. Oh, I can. Yeah. Let me see what's going on here. This is fun. Oh, okay. It's nice box. First, oh, this is awesome. Keepsake ornament for your Christmas tree for your first Christmas that's together. Fun. Yeah, that's fun. We just put the Christmas tree up a couple of days ago and said we don't have an ornament. But and now, you know what? Now we do. Now that we know that you are expecting, we're going to send you baby's first Christmas too, so you have that up for next year. Awesome. Aw, thank, thank you so much for joining much. us. Appreciate it. And you all remember to watch Keith in a Christmas love story right. this Saturday, December 7th at 8, 7 Central, right here on Hallmark Channel. And you can also keep up with all of our Countdown to Christmas movie premieres on our Hallmark Movie Checklist app, where you can add movies to your watch list, view trailers, and so much more. It's free on iOS and Android devices. And make sure to also listen to Keith's new single, Love Language, which is out now. He's You're going to love it. He's busy. He's a busy man.